of Arco on the corner of 19th Street and South Delaware Street 409. It's San Leandro at Chevron on Hunter Boulevard. It's three ninety nine dollars and it's San Jose. Queuing service on Long Rock Avenue and Foss Avenue. The cheapest we could find, three ninety five dollars a gallon. If you know of a station that beats these prices, we'd like to get a TV at the call of 415-474-KCBS. That's 474 
2023. New customers with 750 megabits per second or above and to your agreement. Must keep acquired new services for 30 days to receive prepaid cards. Other restrictions apply. Abbott's Law is a rescue station for people who have been injured. One problem faced by a lot of people is that their medical insurance doesn't provide what they need. People come to us with state-funded insurance plans like Medi-Cal, Medicaid, and Medicare. When they've been injured, they often find there's a long waiting period before they can get the treatment they need. And that treatment is often very limited. Even when you have private insurance and have been extremely injured, you often can't get quick access to the doctors you need. And then the insurance company, the people who injured you, will say, if they were really injured, they would have gone to the doctor sooner. When you've been injured, you need to be rescued. Rescued from the insurance companies. Our law office is a rescue station for people who have been injured. We're good rescuers. If you've been injured, let us rescue you. Call Habit Law at 1-800-INJURED. Talk with us and your day will get a whole lot better. We have more on the Thursday Evening News Watch. If the Environmental Protection Agency gets its way, all lead pipes and drinking water systems across the country will have to be removed and replaced during the next decade. KCBS reporter Eric Thomas says it's to protect you from lead poisoning. It's a pervasive problem. Unfortunately, yeah, most people aren't aware, but there are over 9 million of these lead pipes that bring water from the water main out in the street to people's houses. That's Eric Olson with the Natural Resources Defense Fund. He says the EPA proposal to remove all of those lead pipes has been a long time coming. The issue was brought into sharp focus after the 2014 water crisis in Flint, Michigan, in which thousands of young children were exposed to alarming levels of lead. Everybody knows about kids being affected by lead, um, things like re reduced IQ levels and problems with learning and so on. He says lead contamination can also cause high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease in adults. But what about the cost? It is not cheap. It's going to cost, according to some estimates, around 30 to even more billion dollars. But he says the project will be worth it in terms of the illnesses prevented. The public will have 60 days to comment on the proposal. The EPA hopes to finalize it by next fall. Eric Thomas, KCBS. Coming up in just one minute, we're going to go live to Chase Center where Matt Pittman is close by. Hey, hey. Matt Coker here with West Coast Men's Health. Most guys don't realize that their ED started in their 40s. Symptoms of erectile dysfunction can be slight and subtle, but by treating your symptoms at the onset, you can avoid severe ED in the future. Mild ED is easily reversed at our clinic using our acoustic wave technology. Most men have accepted that ED is a part of getting older, but that's far from the truth. Our acoustic wave therapy has helped thousands of men restore function, whether they're in their 40s or their 80s. West Coast Men's Health also treats chronic pain, including neuropathy, plantar fasciitis, Dupuytren's contracture, and even carpal tunnel. So if this sounds like you, give West Coast Men's Health a call today and see how we can help. With clinics in San Mateo, Pleasanton, Walnut Creek, and Elk Grove, call West Coast Men's Health at 650-407-1168. That's 650-407-1168. 650-407-1168 online at westcoastmenshealth.com Coming up on KCBS This is Matt Bigler. The U.S. Postal Service is hiring thousands of seasonal workers to help with the holiday mail crush. Right now, we get to head over to the Chase Center. The Bay Area Chevy Dealer Sports Desk is on a field trip of sorts because the voice of the Warrior Home Games, Matt Pittman, joins us on. You sound like you're outside. They're not letting you in yet, yes? I thought you had a special oh, badge or something. Yeah, I'm outside uh, on, a, on a concourse level because they're doing the sound check oh, okay. inside, and uh, it is absolutely deafening. One of the things that the sound checks that they're rehearsing, we'll take a little behind the scenes, is um, a video to commemorate uh, something that is quite remarkable. And that is, so I'm going to give you a heads up. Check your cell phone while I'm reading this to you, okay? About the, the giveaway that fans will receive when they enter Chase Center tonight. It is a commemorative patch. 11, 30, 23. That is today's date, correct? Correct. Yeah, that's a nice looking patch there. It looks like you got Steph, you got Clay, what? and Draymond. Uh, you have number 11, Clay Thompson. You have number 30. Stephen Curry, and you have number 23, Draymond Green. I love the PR department. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, but this is this is a, a there is so much 
history behind the combination of a trio of players of the ten trios of players in NBA history that have played ten or more seasons together, only the Warriors trio is made up of three players who have ever played for a single team together. Is that not remarkable? That is amazing. And that's why they're so since, good. Since 2012, 2013, uh, 579 wins. They have a combined 18 All-Star appearances, 13 All-NBA team selections. Uh, they've made it to six NBA Finals, including five straight, and they've got four rings to show for it. 11, 30, 23 is not just the date. It is the number of three of the greatest athletes to ever grace American sports who've all done it in blue and gold here in the Bay Area over the last decade plus. What a special thing. What a very, very cool thing. Oh, by the way, there's a game tonight, too, Brad. It's the Warriors and the Clippers. They'll tip things off and stuff. So if you're listening and thinking, oh, we'll just kind of take in the things around. No, get her early. Get the catch. It's worth it to get Brad. Visit Mancini Sleep World during our year-end clearance event 
or visit sleepworld.com. And with the very latest, we turn to KPIX 5 meteorologist Paul Hagen. We saw a couple of showers pop up across the Bay Area today, but they were very few and far between. And the same lower than 20% chance is going to be with us Friday and again on Saturday. I wouldn't adjust any outdoor plans based on such a meager rain chance, but just be prepared for that outside chance of a brief, very light passing shower. We are going to see temperatures running pretty close to average for the first couple days of December, Friday and Saturday. High temperatures in the low 60s across the entire Bay Area. It doesn't matter if you're along the coast, bayside, or farther inland. A little more of a warm-up, a little more difference in our temperatures as we head through early next week. Low 60s along the coast with low to mid 60s around the bay, mid to even upper 60s farther inland through Tuesday and Wednesday. For KCBS, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Paul Hagen, now also on 6 Plus, 44 Cable 12, home of the primetime edition at 8 p.m. Thank you, Paul. We have traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. We have Tom Lippy and Karishma Patania at the KCBS editor's desk. The U.S. Postal Service is hiring thousands of temporary employees during the holiday season. This is Matt Bigler at the Livermore Post Office, where the Help Wanted sign is out almost year-round. We are uh, not only during the signal time, we are throughout the year. Postmaster Harmender Singh Hundal says they're adding about 10,000 seasonal employees to help with the holiday mail crush which is roughly double their usual volume, Hundal says temporary postal jobs can turn into careers. He started out as a mail carrier. So I really love this job, and I'm here for 29 years, and uh, for three months, and I have a couple more years to go. Layoffs are almost unheard of in the USPS, says spokesperson Miko Patton. In my 29 years of working here, I've never heard of anyone being laid off. The nearly 250-year-old agency has promised union workers there will be no job cuts, even as it goes through a 10-year modernization plan. In Livermore, Matt Bigler, KCBS. For the first time in history, there are now five generations in the workforce. KCBS's Margie Schaefer reports improving communication skills can go a long way toward creating and productive, genial workplaces. Differences exist across many dimensions, such as race, gender, ethnicity, and increasingly age in the workplace. Labels are best avoided. Millennials aren't lazy, and boomers aren't clueless. We don't have to have the same beliefs, but we must have a common language and how we communicate to reach our goals. Edward Beltran is with the leadership training company, Fierce. Reasons for top workplace stressors include dealing with difficult people and politics in the workplace. I'm sure everyone who's listening can identify with walking away from the situation and saying, you know, why did I say this or what does that mean or having someone with stress? The key, however, is to empower the individual and have the skills to take those head on. When upset, he says, it's constructive to focus on observable behavior and ask to speak further about it. Marty Schaefer, KCBS. On the watch now, all three finished November with another big rally to the Dow, gaining 520 points and setting a new high for 2023. Salesforce a big reason as its stock rose more than 9% on strong earnings. Following one of the most operatic moments in Silicon Valley history, OpenAI is getting more supervision. The stock will get non-voting observer seat on OpenAI's board, with recently reinstated CEO Sam Altman saying in a blog post, that Microsoft's leadership, including CEO Satya Nadella, have had their backs and were ready to welcome them if they couldn't achieve their primary goal. Alton also said that co-founder Greg Brockman is returning as president of OpenAI, which will have a new board. Officially comprised of former Salesforce co-CEO Brett Taylor, who will serve as chair, along with former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers and Quora co-founder and CEO Adam D'Angelo. Microsoft has invested reportedly upwards of $13 billion into the creator of Chat GPT. On the Money Watch, Jason Brooks, KCBS. Court furniture assets annual Black Friday event has been extended to Monday. You'll find everything you need to brighten up your home or make your workplace more comfortable. And everything is on sale at the lowest prices of the year. Court prices are always super low because they lease their furniture for use in model homes, movies and television by home stagers and corporate offices. And when the furniture comes back, they sell it for pennies on the dollar. But now, during court furniture outlets, Black Friday event, you'll save even more on all new and previously rented furniture. New sleeper sectionals with storage regularly $8.99, now just $5.99. Plus sofas from $2.99. Check out their mattress gallery. Twin extra long mattress sets from $1.49 and California King sets from $49.99. Plus free wall art with every purchase. Exclusions apply. Hurry in while supplies last. The quotations in San Francisco on Sunday and Van Ness. And Cooper, you know, on Stephen Creek Boulevard. Check out 
Furniture Outlet.com. That's C-O-R-T Furniture Outlet.com. Moment.